A very tough shot that we'll be working on today. Shouldn't say very tough shot, a very tough situation that we'll be working on today. The shot is pretty simple, the situation not so much, okay? So now, if I'm driving baseline from the corner, right? I just beat my guy here, boom, I beat my guy. This seems to be a very problematic shot for a lot of the players, right? It is a tough shot. Now, as I just beat this guy, he's probably gonna follow me, right? So this guy's following me, I'm gonna have for sure a, a guy from the, the other side corner also closing in or closing out, right? Closing the gap. So I'm in a vice, right? This guy is coming, this guy is coming, hmm, what to do, right? Now, if you beat this guy, if you're quick enough and you beat this guy quick enough, you can just stop and pull, right? Boom, bang, bang, stop and pull. What else you can do is if you want to take your shot a little quicker, and that's super hard though, is you can hit a runner. But the fact that there's no reference behind the rim, right? I'm going from the corner, there's no backboard behind the rim, makes this runner very hard to make, especially for younger players. Hey, hey, it's, it's just a tough shot, okay? So what I want you to master, okay? One of the best finishing moves, finishing ways, as I'm driving baseline uh, from the corner, is the tight angle finish. So what I want to do, it's going to be a little counterintuitive because I'll be finishing with my inside hand. I'll be exposing the ball with my inside hand, but that's, you just got to do that, right? All it is, is just the inside hand finish after taking just one step. So as you already know, all the finishing moves in the game of basketball requires that same timing. Right hand, left foot, or left hand, right foot. We always want to time our last dribble with the foot opposite uh, of the hand that we're dribbling with. So same thing here. So I'm driving, driving, driving. I'm going to take my last dribble with my left foot in front, I'm gonna take one step, and I'm gonna go high up, okay? Go, boom, high up, okay? So now our first drill, I'm gonna be standing right outside the paint. I'm gonna have my left foot in front, I'm gonna dribble with my right hand. All I'm gonna do is just take one step and swing my left knee. I'm gonna finish with my left hand high off the glass. I'm taking just one step. Oh wow, taking just one step after my after my last dribble, right? Go on this side now. So now if I'm driving baseline from this corner, go on my left hand, I'm gonna tie my left hand with the right foot. I take one step, I finish high of the glass, okay? Left and right foot, high of the glass. And my goal is to high jump and not long jump. I don't want to end up landing outside the paint on the other side because then the shot is going to be much, much harder and I'm probably also going to run the defense. We just don't want to do that. Right foot in front, left foot behind, left hand dribble. One step, finish. Tight angle finish, I call it, okay? I'm going to go out of a catch. I'm going to jab, right? Two dribbles to the basket, tight angle finish. Go boom. time and finish. It's a must have in your toolbox. Okay, there are maybe four or five finishing moves that you have to master. And this is definitely one of them. The tight angle finish. A short step, layup, go on baseline from the corner, a must have in your toolbox. Patrick Janiszewski, Coach P Basketball. I'll see you next, I'll see you next time.